Some years ago, we decided that uh, some non-business entrepreneurs should be recognised, and we've uh, identified three nominees: John Rocha, Munster uh, Rugby, and Pat Falvey, Mountaineer and Adventure. One of those three is going to be chosen by the uh, judging panel as the special category award winner. Before he hit the roof of the world, Pat Falvey had experienced many adventures on terra firma. He left school at 15 to become a millionaire. By the age of 30, he had achieved that and lost it all. From the depths of despair, a whole new world opened up to him. When I was 21 as a builder, I was building 200 houses a year. I was involved in five different companies. At today's rate, it would have been equivalent to 72 million euros. I lost everything. And that's the amazing thing about life, and probably it was one of the best things that has happened to me, is to lose everything to actually restart again. And that's what happened when I went to the Himalayas. I lost myself, came back, re-identified, seen the problems that I had, learned from my mistakes, and rebuilt my life. He conquered Everest on the 27th of May, 1995, and in doing so, he also conquered his own fear of failure. He returned to rebuild his business, but the corporate world no longer inspired him. So he set his sights on honoring his heroes, Tom Crean and the men of the Shackleton Expedition to the South Pole. Throughout my life, I've always risked everything to get to where I was going. I actually mortgaged my house on a ship to go to the Antarctic because I wanted to go to the Antarctic to bring out the unsung heroes of Tom Crean or Shackleton. And I believed in that, and I had to put my house and my life on the line to do that at 50 years of age at that stage. The South Pole, 1,140 kilometres. We arrived at that South Pole, that place where you walk 360 degrees and you go a day back in time and a day forward in time. And we walked 58 days, equivalent to 58 consecutive marathons, in conditions that went down to minus 60 degrees Celsius, never going above minus 20 degrees Celsius. We were freezing. We've had a number of firsts and a great time and along the way. It was really, really hard, really tough going. But now we're here, it's over, we're going home. In the many high adventures around the globe that he has completed, Pat Falvey has gained an insight into how success drives people. Whether it's inventing or exploring, planting a flag or conquering a peak, he has distilled what he has learned into motivational talks aimed at encouraging others to pursue their own dreams. For me, the secret to success is to have a goal, have a dream. Believe in yourself, go for it, with all your capacity, your strength and tenacity. And then, when you do it, have another goal, have another dream, and continue. Show everybody.